Hello everyone, welcome to another Feed Army video. My name is Emmanuel and in this video we will explain how to install conversion tracking for Google Ads using the new Shopify Pixel. In 2025 the additional scripts will no longer be available and will be replaced by the customer events, i.e. the pixels. Now before we proceed I would like you to not modify the offer of the script that I've developed um, because I've caught some companies and agencies in the past that just use my code and then replace it with their own name and agency name which is of course not very nice uh, if they have done zero effort in developing the script. So if you could leave uh, my feed army name and the version of the code that would be much appreciated. Now before we start uh, copying the code, we want to go to Google Ads and what we want to go is in the left hand menu, go to Goals, Summary and then you will end up here where you can add a new conversion action. Uh, you can leave your existing uh, conversion action as primary and then once you have uh, verified that the new code is working, you can then swap it around. And you swap it around by actually setting the, the old code to secondary and the new code to primary. And that can be done in the right corner here. It's a little bit cut off, but it says here, added goal, uh, oh, sorry, here, uh, and then you can do that. But for now, we will just create a new conversion action. However, if you don't have any conversions uh, in, in your account, then of course you, you can ignore that. Uh, we want to select website, and then you just enter in your website, for example, example.com. Once that has been scanned, then you scroll all the way to the bottom and then you see here underneath create conversion actions manually using a code and click on the blue link here. The goal and action optimization should be set to purchase. The convert uh, and here, so if you have uh, an existing code and you just want to use my code as testing, then set it to secondary so that it's not counted double if you have an existing conversion. However, if you don't have any conversions actions or you want to replace your existing one, of course you can leave it to primary and just either delete your alternative conversion action, your old one, or you set it to secondary. For me, I know that I need to use it, so I will use primary. Then as a conversion name, you can use anything, but I would like to identify it what it is. So Shopify pixel. And then under value, we want to use different values for each conversion. And then the rest you can leave as is and then click on done. Now we go and click on save and continue. Now we want to click on see event snippet. Then highlight this or scroll to the bottom and click on copy. We want to temporarily paste this in a secondary text file. So just use any text file. Uh, for me it's a website editor and I just paste the code in here so that I can use it at a later stage. And what we want to do now is go to Shopify then select settings and then scroll lower until you see customer events. Now what we want to do is click on add custom pixel and here you can give it any name you like. To help it easy identify what it is, I just say Google Ads Conversion. And then click on Add Pixel. Now the code itself I will not show here on the website, uh, on the video, because by the time you implement this code, I might have a newer version. So it's best that you go to the website and ensure that you copy the latest version. So for me, I already have the code, so I paste it in here. As you can see, so here I've read, added a comment, the author, that is me, and then uh, the code itself. We need to add a few lines in this example code. So what we want to do is go to the original code supplied by Google Ads, and what we want to do is highlight the AW, the hyphen, and then your number. That is basically your Google Ads conversion ID. So we copy this. And what we want to do is on line three, we want to change the script 
ID value, the parameter. So we paste that here. And then we want to go to line 10 and we want to paste it in here. So make sure you do not delete the quotes. And then as a final step, what we want to do is copy the whole send to value. So this is basically your ID and the conversion action uh, label. So you highlight that and then you copy. Then you go to line 14 and you replace everything inside the quotes and you paste it in here. Now what you do is click on save. And then what you want to do is click on connect. And then read the terms if you want to read the terms. And then just click on connect again. And then that is connected and you're all Good to go. Within 24 hours, you will see the conversion action within uh, Google Ads.